You guys just had to do it, right? I reviewed the first Zelda after taking a short break from reviewing other Zelda games to keep my mind stable. But, nope. I said that please don't make, please don't request more Zelda reviews. I told you guys not don't, because, uh, but you did, you did. So I'm moving on to a link to the past. Now I would move on to the uh, Game Boy games, but I might touch them at a later date. It's just. I just feel that Link to the Past is more of an imp like a more overrated than the other ones. Get, don't get me wrong, all the Zelda games are overrated, but the ones released on the main consoles are the they steal the cake. I bet the only exception though is probably going to be the the Link to the Past. Um, kind of sequel based thing that's going to be released on the 3DS. But let's move on. This was released for the Super Nintendo. They Zelda's had success on the Nintendo Entertainment System, so it made sense to put Zelda on Nintendo's newest um platform on at the time. So they made a link to the past. And 16-bit graphics, you could obviously see the difference, and the art style is still not up to par with any with most of the other games released at the time. The colors are just so bland and so uncreative. It's just ugh. I, I, I you know I didn't sleep as much as I did playing through the first Zelda game, but. Mm, I slept pretty good. You see, if I have problems um, sleeping for school, all I need to do is freaking load up these games on ZSNES or uh, the other or the NA NES emulator and just freaking run it. And maybe about 30 minutes later, I'm dead asleep. Good thing emulators have saves, because back in the day they didn't have saves on the, um, you know, Nintendo Entertainment System and Super Nintendo Entertainment System, but I would save my game before I fall asleep, so I don't have to keep starting all over, but yeah, I mean, it takes me a long time to, it takes me a not really a long time, but it takes me longer than it takes anyone else to beat the game. Because I'm just fall asleep half the time. It's just like my sleep schedule is so freaking off track because I'm sleeping at random times. Because say it's after school, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, I'm playing the game and I fall asleep and I wake up at 11 because it's freaking knocked out. I'm knocked out from playing these games. Ooh, it's awful, it's awful, it's awful. And the game has the same issues as the original Zelda game. Like I said, the art style is just so plain, the music is just bad. So yeah, just whatever you do, just don't get this game. If you're gonna, just emulate it. It's not even worth your time downloading it from the emulator, but just overall, this game is worth an F as well. So yeah, so this is gonna be my final plea. My final, final, final plea. Don't request, don't make me review any more Zelda games. I'm going through emotional distress playing through these games. It's just so awful. I'm going to wind up in asylum if I have to review any more Zelda games. If I have to play a single minute of any more Zelda games. So please, don't ask, um, oh, review Majora's Mask next. Uh, review... Um, Wind Waker next. Review the Game Boy freaking games next. First of all, the handhelds are just so... Ugh. The handhelds. I can't get into the handhelds. They're just... 
They're even worse than the console counterparts. And, and that's saying a lot. So please, my final plea, don't make me review any more Zelda games, and everything will be cool. Thank you.